Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. One of the things that you're really going to want to know about for graphing parabolas is how to find the vertex and also how to find the axis of symmetry. They're pretty easy once you get the hang of it. First thing is let's talk about definitions. The vertex is the highest or lowest point on a parabola. The x value is x equals negative b over 2a. The y value is found by substituting the x value. Let me draw you a picture. The vertex is the highest point of a parabola if the parabola opens downward. There's the vertex there or the lowest point if the parabola opens upward. That's how you can find the vertex from a graph, or that what, that's what it means visually. And this is how to find the coordinates algebraically. So once you have an idea what the vertex means, the axis of symmetry makes more sense. So let me back up a little bit and talk to you about the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry is the line that cuts the parabola into two matching halves and whose equation is x equals negative b over 2a. Do you recognize that, the negative b over 2a piece? That's the same thing as the x-coordinate of the vertex. So if I go back to my picture, picture, I can show you guys here what the axis of symmetry looks like. It's the vertical line that goes through the, the vertex like that. It cuts the parabola into two matching halves, and it has the equation x equals negative b over 2a, just like the x-coordinate of the vertex. That's really useful when you're drawing graphs. This axis of symmetry business can help you get some points onto your graph without having to do the mathematical calculations. So these are two important definitions. Make sure you have them in your notes, and more importantly, make sure they make sense to you in your head. And by two. I can't do this with you two laughing back there. Work it. Work it. So if we had, no, that's not right, three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> <laughs> that should be... Less than. Yeah. yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of work. You're going to be bleh, starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, two fix. Yeah. <laughs>